Hey guys, we just got out here at the truck cabin. I'm gonna go do some fly fishing. I'll let you know how it goes. Alright guys, I just got out here. Um, just got to the trout cabin. The river's kind of flooded. I don't know if you can see that or not. Went up a couple feet too high. So I'm going to try some fly fishing with this little leech type pattern. I'll let you know if I catch any. Alright guys, a little update here. I'm going to be switching up lures, switching up tactics a little bit. I think because of the murky color of the water. I'm going to switch up to a little worm bait, either that or I might throw a top water or a little something like this. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how things go. I'll keep you updated. Okay guys, I'm switching up yet again. I cannot find... Well, f well, these birds behind me can find fish. I have yet to get a bite. So, switching up to a little clouser minnow here, figured the water's pretty, pretty murky. So I'd throw a chartreuse little minnow type thing. Who knows? Have they ever seen chartreuse? Probably. Do they have chartreuse bait in there? Definitely not. So, I'm gonna finish up tying this and hope that I can get a fish. I'd be happy with a sucker or chub at this point. A fish on my line, so finish up this knot here real quick. Snip it off and hopefully catch something. Stay tuned. so finicky right now. I'm gonna go back to the house, grab my trout fishing rod, and do what I do best, catch some trout on some crawlers and spinners. So, grab that, come back down here, let you guys know how it goes. Alright, so I'm back at the river. I threw on something a little bit warmer because it's getting pretty cold out. They're calling for rain tonight, so I figured I'd come back down here. I got my Cougar President Reel, my Fenwick HMG rod, ultra or light action, so I'm gonna throw on a worm. Shh. Hook, line, and sinker rig. Throw on a worm, cast in here. If I can't get nothing, we're gonna go bass fishing tomorrow, so here goes nothing. I'll turn the camera on if I get anything. Alright guys, right now I'm headed down through here to go down to that stream. Down there. So I'm gonna walk over here. I had no luck so far. I had one nibble. My rod tip went down really quick. Must have been a chub or something. Because nothing committed. I looked for some grasshoppers or something or some bugs to throw down here. Because when the river's flooded like this, they're looking for debris that's floating down in these big pools. But I couldn't find none. So what I'm gonna do is come down here and throw a spinner. Maybe throw on a worm or something real quick. If, if that doesn't work, just call it a day. Head to church because we got church to do yet tonight. And then once I'm done with that, go to bed, wake up tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't storm too much because it's calling for heavy storming tonight. Lost you there for a sec. It's calling for heavy, heavy storming tonight, so hopefully it doesn't get too bad. But we're down here now, so we'll see if the fish are biting. So, spinner didn't work. Switched up to a little wacky rig worm with two little split shots. 
just gonna pitch this in here at the top of the current. See if I can pick something up. Let the current bring the worm down and out into this big pool of water. And usually on the way down, I'll get something because all of those big fish and little fish too are stacked up right where the water stops moving. And they're just waiting for bait and stuff to float down so they can just grab it. I had a pick up there, so I thought I might set the hook. Something must have bumped it. And then once it gets down to the bottom and you feel the line stop coming out of your hand, slowly reel it back up. Alright, we are at the second spot now. Got a worm rigged up from last time. We'll throw that in. Oh, well, I'll see if I can catch something, I guess. Doubt it'll happen. Yeah. Well, we're out here on Lake Nunya. <laughs> Lake Nunya. Lake Nunya business. Um, we're just casting along these little trees right here with a net rig, and we're pulling out some fish. Papa just hooked up with what we thought was a muskie down there. Yeah, he just he bit our line off our our worm rig. He bit our line off, and he just sat underneath the boat right there. He, we, we couldn't pull him up, so. Wouldn't budge. Wouldn't budge. We already caught two, so we'll turn the camera on if we catch some more. Yeah. Oh, another nice one. Oh, another nice little bass right along that weed line. Another nice little... In. Another nice little bass along that shoreline right there. Right along that weed line. Wow, these bass are warm. Again with that Ned rig. Wow. There you go, popped it. <laughs> Another nice little guy. Ooh, nice LMB. Oh, don't jump. Oh, don't jump. Oh, get him in the net. Get off. There we go. Keeper. <laughs> Heck yeah, he's a keeper. <laughs> nice LMB. Right in the top of the mouth. With the one and only Ned Rig. <laughs> Nice one. Oh, this one's a nice one. Oh! Oh, jumped right there. Get him! Get in the net! Oh! Bring him over here. Careful now. Wow! Very nice one. Wow. On, yet again, on the Ned Rig, casting right up against the shoreline. Big fish for a little worm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's a little fighter, though. Ow. Ned Rig even catches little fish. Little guy. Sorry, Papa. Well, that's fine. Another nice big old 
chunky bass on the Ned Rig. Another little guy. Little snake. Hey. Stop. Jump. Okay. is in there. What? What are you seeing? He spit this up. You spit that out. That's what they're feeding. Spit out a little perch. They're feeding on the perch, Papa. Yeah. There. Nice one. Nice on the Ned Rig. Ned Rig is does the wonders. And then he spit out a little perch. Huh. Well, they're feeding on bait fish, so. That's nice job, Papa. <laughs> Finally. Finally we got a bass. There you go, Papa. Nice pike. Oh, <laughs> oh, you dirty dog. Alright, so we just left Teepee. We packed up the we packed up the boat and everything. I cleaned house. I caught five fish. Uh, Papa caught one. <laughs> one nice bass. He had some problems fishing with braid as a leader earlier on because he got snapped off by a muskie. But he figured it out in the end, got on some monofilament, and finally caught one. Finally got a fish. Can't fish braid with a Ned Rig. Can't fish braid with the Ned Rig. You heard it here, guys. Cleaned house today. All six fish were caught on the Ned Rig, so. Yes. The net rig is the lifesaver. Without the net rig, we wouldn't be eating many fish. No, we would not. So we're going to go home. We're going to clean fish. Clean fish, and I'll let you guys know how the fillets look after. All right, guys. It is 1.55 in the morning. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But I'm here editing this video right now, and I just realized that I didn't put in a segment about me filleting the fish and stuff. So, here are some pictures about that. Got the bass, me holding one, and then uh, the biggest bass that we had, there was a, I think it was a six or seven inch bullhead catfish inside of its stomach, so there's that. Thanks to my newest sponsor, Shady Rays, a sunglasses company, for making this, po making this video possible. And a big shout out to AJ, or AJ, for letting me use his vlogging setup and letting me use his uh, editing stuff so big thank you to AJ for that without him this wouldn't be possible so make sure you go give his channel a Bye. look I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this series um, I'm really happy and proud of what this channel has become and I can't wait to see where it's going so thank you guys for hanging in and riding this wave with me, with me as we go through life, so stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Aw, oh, you dirty dog.